Hi guys, today's video will be based on the Gumtree network, okay? I will be assisting you and teaching you how to use Gumtree. I know that a lot of our candidates and clients utilize this network to find positions that are available out there. Um, so we will be trying to assist you in, YouTube. well, we will be giving you a break on how to use the Gumtree network when applying for posts. So when you're doing your search, you're going to type in Gumtree in your search bar, and then you will click on the Gumtree ad that Google uh, provides to you. Once you are on the Gumtree homepage, you will then notice that you'll have a breakdown of uh, the various category of services that Gumtree has on offer. Um, in a lot of cases, they do advertise motor vehicles and property. I think that was one of their highest uh, service ratings though. In this case, we're gonna be looking at jobs. They do advertise for jobs as well. And a lot of people use utilize this network in searching when searching for jobs. Um, if you have a look, look at the top, you'll have a, a search bar where it lets uh, you type in exactly what you are looking for, um, the category, the location, and your search option. In this case, we're going to be choosing, if you scroll over the category option, it gives the various options available. In this case, we're going to be choosing on the jobs, um, and then you will it filters out uh, to the various positions. Um, so you can just go through it and find the position that you uh, focused on. In this case, we'll just choose accounting as well. Then it will give you the various area. Um, in our, this case, we'll just choose Johannesburg. Um, well, you choose accounting, then it will uh, break it down further. In that case, it goes Johannesburg, and you just can just do, click on your search button. Um, once it's done, this filters out the positions, and it will give you um, the various positions that are available within that area with the criteria that you've um, um, inputted on there. Okay, um, the positions that you'll find on the, or the ads that you'll find on your top of your screen, these are paid for ads. So either the recruiter or the organization that has placed these ads on Gumtree, um, these are paid for. So that's why they are highlighted at the top of your screen. I mean, in some cases, um, there could be positions here or that it would just be other services that are offered. Um, once you scroll down, you'll come to the list of positions that are available. Um, in this case, they've got a group taxation manager, student administrator, bookkeeper, etc. Um, you can just, we'll just click on the group taxation manager just to get a better understanding of the type of positions they have advertised. Um, you need to understand that Gumtree does not, not all positions advertised on Gumtree are valid or legit. A lot of scamsters and fraudsters utilize this network as well because it's easily accessible and they can uh, draw in a lot of clients and candidates. So what I need you to understand is that you need to go through all the positions very carefully, scrutinize the positions, make sure that there are valid positions that you're applying for, and don't just fall, um, fall victim to the, the scams and frauds just out there, okay? In this case, no photo has been shown by other organizations, so we can't confirm whether it is valid. But if you go through it further, you'll notice there's a contact number, so that is a good thing. They've given you a contact number. Um, when you scroll further, it gives you a very, very bre a, a brief or um, a thorough breakdown of what the position entails and what is required of you. It will also give you the qualifications that they need or that they require. And if you notice, you will see they also provide you with an email address. It's very good that they've given you an email address so you can email them directly. And um, you can also submit through an email application without having to message them via the Gumtree network. Um, in most cases, a fax number, they will, in some cases, uh, recruit, uh, the ad might have a fax number. In that case, you need to be very, very wary. Reason being, there, is organi there are organizations out there that provide fax numbers to, candidate, to clients um, where they get to promote these fax numbers. And every time the recipient receives a fax, utilizing that fax number, they get paid for it. So that's actually a fraudulent activity where um, the fax number could either be valid or it's invalid and the recipient is actually just getting paid for the faxes that are coming through on that fax number. So you need to be very wary of this. When it comes to fax numbers at this day and age, not many people use fax machines anymore. Um, they'll always use email addresses. So recruiter as well will all state, um, email your CV through or send your CV through, not necessarily to fax it through because not many people use faxes these days. Um, in this case, it also says no PDF CVs. Um, so if you are replying on the Gumtree network, you are unable to upload the CV because um, when you submit the message or reply to the message, it does give you the option of sending through your CV, um, but you are unable to do so in this case because um, the chosen file is only PDF or the file that you can choose is only PDF. 
and they do not want PDF in this case. Um, you can also um, uh, you can also personalize your message when you um, replying to the to the to the the, uh, the poster or the recruiter that's posted the ad. Um, you can just delete all the information they've got on the message and you can put in your own personalized message, whether it be a motivational uh, message stating why you're applying for the position, what experience you have, etc. Um, and you can just have that filled in there. As I said, contact details are optional. Uh, please, security wise, be very careful when putting any contact information. Um, email addresses will suffice. You don't necessarily have to give all your contact details. Um, once you've confirmed that it is a valid recruiter, they can always be in contact with you. You don't necessarily have to give any account information, any any ID details. Um, try not try to limit the information as much as possible, um, and um, that, that's just to safeguard yourself when it comes to to any scams and fraudsters on Gumtree. Okay, um, this is one of the ads, as I said, that are available or that have been posted for a position. Um, you can always go back again, searching again, and then you can look for the next position that they're available. Um, if you feel that you do meet all the requirements or the criteria that they have that they've posted on the ad, then as I said, you can either email them your CV or you can mail them directly off the link off the Gumtree network, um, stating that you are interested in the position and what's your experience, etc. Okay. Um, we'll just choose a random one now. Um, we'll go with this one, Tony Medical Administrator. My speak Mandarin. It also gives you a breakdown of the details that they need, where it is. In this case as well, you've got a contact number. They provided you with the contact number, and it also gives you a description of what the position um, is all about. Okay, and in that case, it tells you the organisation, the recruitment agency. This is Tower Group. They are a valid recruitment firm. Um, so then you'll be emailing your CV through directly to the recruitment firm. You could also, um, as I said respond directly from the ad but in this case they are giving an email address so rather email the recruiter directly don't go through the country mailing network um, email them directly to the email address they provided you with now we're going to be going into another section that's called job seekers since you are in the job market looking for a position you can also put yourself on gumtree as an ad okay um, so you want to post yourself or, or let recruiters find you or if you can be recognized by recruiters or potential headhunters, etc., um, you can put your information on Gumtree. As I said before, try not to put as much, try not to put personal information on there. You can put qualifications, experience, uh, work history, etc. Try not to put any personal details um, on Gumtree. When you go there, you will then scroll on the category option. We will then go into job seekers. Um, and uh, um, if you have a look, I just want to show you what it will look like first. So if you go into Job Seekers Accounting, we'll just choose Accounting and Finance in the Jansberg area, we'll go to search. This is what your ad will look like once you've posted it um, on Gumtree. Um, so this is before you have actually done, we will, I will then show you how to post the ad directly. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice these are the ads um, that have been posted by people that are actually looking for work on Gumtree. Um, in this case, if you have a look, you can put in your own photo and you can give a description of what what the what you are actually looking for. And you can also give in a brief description of um, your qualifications and experience, etc. Okay. And if you just scroll down, you'll see all the various positions, all the various candidates that have uploaded their information, um, hoping that recruiters and headhunters will notice them. Okay. Now, in order to see yourself reflected on there, you will click on the post free ad option that you have on the top right hand corner of your Gumtree screen. Um, once you've clicked on that, it will take you to the to a page where you can then have your ad, uh, create your ad to be posted. Okay. In this case, it will request what are you posting an ad for, whether it be uh, vehicle, property, services, etc. In this case, we're going with all categories and you will then put in an, uh, the ad title, what you're actually looking for. You can either state uh, looking uh, for administrative clerk position, um, or you could state uh, exactly what you're looking for, whether it's in human resources, accounting, etc. Okay, category, as I said, it will not be under jobs. This time we'll be choosing job seekers, um, the service that you are actually looking at as, as job seekers, and then you will choose the field 
um, which field you are specializing in or which field you currently fall under and you'll choose that option and then it will be the location of the region um, that you're actually based in. So if you're based in KZN or if you're based in Western Cape or if you're based in Makating, you will then put the, the area that you're based in um, there and where you'd like, uh, to, it, it filters further down, so where you'd like the position to actually be, whether it's going to be in your Johannesburg city centre or four ways, uh, whether it be Randburg, Midrand, etc. In this case, we'll just go with four ways. Okay, so you can, a, a Gumtree does give you the option of actually filtering down as much as possible um, to get the best results. Okay, description, here you'll put the description of what, uh, a, a description about yourself, what you've qualified in, what your experience is, what your work history is, um, etc. You can also put in an email address um, that, so that the recruiter can contact you via email. Um, try not to put in much, much many personal details. Perhaps a contact number uh, would, would suffice, uh, but in most cases try not to give any personal information, whether it be bank account details, ID numbers, etc. All that information is not necessary when you put it through a post on Gumtree. Uh, the only thing you're doing here is just to advertise yourself. So try only give your qualifications and your work history. Okay. Um, if you scroll further, always also give you the option of uploading your photo. Many recruiters like the fact that they get to see the applicant, so it is a good idea to have your photo uploaded. Not many people like to have their photos uploaded. Not many people or clients like to have their photos uploaded. In this case, you can always upload a photo within that specific industry. So if you're applying for an administrative post or if you're looking for a, a post within human resources, etc., you can always get a picture relevant to the post you're applying for, or you can actually leave the photo out completely. It's not compulsory to have the photo uploaded, but it does enhance your, your, your ad by having a, a photo on there. Reason being is it makes the ad more attractive. And once they see the photo, then they get to relate with that ad as well. Okay, um, as you scroll down, it gives the option of putting your contact telephone number. As I said, it's not compulsory to have your phone number added, but it is. Um, it does make it more 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 relevant or appealing if you have a contact number there for them to view. Okay, the last section of the post will be where you can get to um, advertise, I mean, sorry, promote your post or your ad. Um, and in this section, it gives the examples of how you can promote the ad. Um, there are charges, unfortunately, country does charge to have the ad promoted, whether it will be filtered or, or highlighted on the top of the screen, as I showed you the promoted ads right on the top of the screen. Um, if you have a look here, uh, well, that will be on the home page. All the promoted ads will be reflected on the top of the screen and highlighted. But it does show you um, the various options that you have available and what the charges are. If you click on the example option, it will show you what that will look like. Um, an example of the top ad. Okay. And um, if you have a look here, I've just clicked on the first one. It shows you exactly where the ad will reflect and how it will be highlighted, etc. And the charge next to it. Okay, once you click on the post button, it will then go through to Gumtree. Gumtree will then verify the ad, it will take between 5 to 10 minutes. In some cases, they might decline the ad. Remember, Gumtree has terms and conditions in place that you will need to follow. Um, they do not allow any illegal content, etc. Whether you've posted an invalid description, whether you've used an invalid category, they go through all that just to ensure that you have advertised or, or put through your ad in the correct um category or service that's been offered and in most cases job seekers always always go through accordingly okay